Hey guys, it's Count the Scientist, and today we're reading another National Geographic kids book, Level 2, by Anne Schrieber. It is about penguins. What are they? What birds cannot fly? What birds spend most of their lives in the ocean but are not fish? What birds live in the coldest part of the world all year long? They swim, they march, they slide through the snow. They are penguins. Where are they? All penguins live between the equator and the South Pole. Some live where it's very cold. Some live in warmer places, like the coasts of Africa or Australia. Penguins live on islands, on coasts, and even on icebergs in the sea. They just need to be near water because they spend most of their lives in water. So here's a map of where penguins live. Not just any bird. Penguins are perfect for their lives at the sea. They have a sleek shape for speed. A layer of blubber keeps them warm. So they have big webbed feet for better steering, layers of soft feathers that traps the heat, stiff oily feathers on top that keep out the water, stiff flippers act like a boat paddles to push and steer, and then the big eyes to see underwater. Their black backs make them hard to see from above. Their light bellies make them hard to see from below. But it's their strong, solid flippers that help them escape predators and get where they want to go. Penguins can swim about 15 miles an hour. When they want to go faster, they leap out of the water as they swim. It's called porpoising because it's what porpoises do. So here is a bunch of penguins leaping out of the water. What's for dinner? Life in the ocean is fishalicious. Penguins eat a lot of fish. They have a hooked bill or beak to help them grab their dinner. Barbs on their tongues and in their throats help them to hold on to the slippery food. Would you like a drink of salty water to go with that fish? Penguins are able to clean the salt out of the ocean water. They get fresh water to drink and the salt dribbles back into the ocean. While penguins are slurping down their dinners, they have to be careful not to end up as dinner themselves. Penguins are favorite food of marine mammals such as leopard seals and killer whales. Penguins are also in danger on land. Birds like Suka, the Australian sea eagle, and the giant petrel eat penguins. Even cats, snakes, foxes, and rats eat penguins while they can. Life on land. On land, most penguins live in a large colony with thousands or even millions of other penguins. It's so warm inside a huddle, or it's so warm inside a huddle that penguins take turns moving on the outside to cool off. Penguins march together to get their nesting grounds. Whence, there they have waves, strut, snake call, nod, dance, and sing to find a mate. Most penguins stay with their mate for many years. So here's a bunch of penguins that are huddling to keep warm. A chick is born. Most penguins lay two eggs at a time, but often only one egg survives. The mother and father take turns keeping the egg warm. 
When it hatches, the parents keep the chick warm and fed. After a couple weeks, hundreds or even thousands of chicks wait together while the parents go back to the sea to find food. As the chicks wait, they are in constant danger from sukas, eagles, and other animals. Finally, the parents return with food. They have to find their chicks in a huge crowd of baby birds. How do they do it? The baby birds sing special songs to help their parents find them. In a few months, the whole family returns to the sea. The longest march. For the emperor penguins, Getting to their nesting grounds is hard work. Their home in Antarctica, the coldest place on earth. Emperor penguins nest much further from the ocean than other penguins. They must march for days and nights through the snow and wind. After laying her eggs, the female gives it to the male. He will keep it warm in a flap under his belly. Unlike the other penguins, the male emperor cares for the egg by himself, while the female goes back to the ocean to find food. The mother is gone for more than four months. The father huddles with the other male penguins to keep himself and his eggs safe and warm. During this time, the father eats nothing but snow. When the mother returns in July, the father quickly goes to the ocean to find food. By December, the whole family is ready to go. Penguin Parade. There are 17 different species or kinds of penguins. So there's the fairy, there's the gallo ghost, there's the snares, the rock hopper, the yellow eyed, the foreland, the erect crescent, the African, the melanic, the royal, the macaroni, the chin strap, the Gentoo, the Adele, the Humboldt, the King, and the largest, which is the Emperor. So here's the first page of kinds. Okay, and then here's the second page. And I probably spelled like over half of those wrong, or whatever. <laughs> Galapagos. Penguin play. Life isn't always easy for penguins, but at least they look like they're having fun. Okay, so here is a hopping. Rock hoppers can hop five feet high. Okay, singing. Adults sing to their mates and chicks sing for their parents. Sledding. Penguins speed down icy hills on their feet and bellies to get somewhere fast. Surfing. Penguins surf through the waves. Sometimes they surf right from the water up onto the land. Okay, some words we have learned. Barb. Something sharp and pointing like a cook. Coast, where land meets water. Equator, an imaginary line halfway between the North and South Poles. Colony, a group of animals who live together. Marine mammals, have fur and give birth to live young. Unlike other mammals, they spend most of their time life in the ocean. Webbed, connected by skin. Thank you guys so much for watching me read this National Geographic Kids book, Level 2, by Ann Treber, about penguins. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!